recipe takes us to a favorite pumpkin patch here in central Illinois. Our guest chef digging into heirloom squash. I'm here to share a recipe in the CI Kitchen from the Family to Table blog is Natalie Kenny Marquez as well as the great pumpkin patches Mac Condal. So I hear you all actually have kind of a family connection. Yes. Yeah, I have family that lives in Arthur and has worked with Mac and and his family in different capacities. So okay. it's yes. been fun. And yeah. now you've collaborated and teamed up together to bring us our recipe today that is yeah. featuring some gourds from the pumpkin patch. Yes, yes. Natalie, what are you hoping to put together? Uh, well, I'm going to make a taco using squash, and it's not just any kind of squash. It's an heirloom squash that Mac's grown at the pumpkin patch. So. Right. right, so, you know, our thing at the Great Pumpkin Patch is we have more variety than almost anywhere else on the yeah. planet. So you're kind of used to maybe the green acorn. This is a table star because of the beautiful color there. But all of these are acorns, and we call them small but mighty, which means cut them in half, uh, carve them out, and, you know, end up with something like that. This is called a mashed potato. It's uh, an acorn squash, but the variety is mashed potato. So does it taste is, like mashed potatoes well, a little you'll bit? find out. No, oh, it's really. soon it's gonna <laughs> taste like tacos. <laughs> yes, okay. Exactly, exactly. So the, the orange one is your normal green acorn that you'll find on the shelf. But right. There are so many more opportunities to get a little more uh, adventurous with what you're actually cooking with. Well, so. I never would have imagined making tacos with acorn squash. or any kind of squash to, yes. you know. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of people just take the squash home and roast it if they ever even cut it open. I think that that can be an intimidating thing. And so um, when Mac and I were talking, I was like, you know, I want to try something totally different and bring about some recipes, some um, ingredients, some flair from the Marquez side of my family, my husband's side of family. And so I thought I'm going to make some squash tacos. And it's super easy to make. It's a little bit messy. I'm going to make a big mess here. Oh, that's all screen. right. That's but it just awesome. take uh, the slices that Matt cut up, um, put a little bit of flour, put a little flour, paprika, and water together, and then we're just going to fry them, fry them up. And then we use the whole squash. And so we actually have a, a sauce made of pumpkin seeds, roasted pumpkin seeds, uh, chipotle and adobo, some sauteed onions, and some vegetable stock. Um, so pumpkin seeds, this is my favorite, the chipotle and adobo. So we're going to serve that on top. Oh, my word. Yeah. This good. is adventurous right yes. here. You know, one thing, Delicious. We, yes, <laughs> one thing we talk about at the Great Pumpkin Patch is uh, anything you do with a potato, you can do with a squash. So if you really? think about that, mashed potatoes, you can mash squash. Roasted potatoes, baked potatoes, baked squash, roasted squash. I'm, so, I'm still waiting on the french fries. Yes, you can absolutely do that. In <laughs> fact, this one is one of the best to do that with. This is trombocino, which if you can look at the coloration, it's very similar to a butternut squash, right? But this is a baby butternut. It's a different variety. So cute. But anything that's tan colored or buff colored is absolutely the best thing you can bake with. But this looks more decor to it, me well, than it does like, let's bake this puppy up. Yeah, you're the problem. <laughs> There's more than decor. You can right. eat these things, right, Natalie? Oh, and they're delicious. Yes. I made delicata squash the other day for my husband, never had it before, and he's like, this tastes better than mashed potatoes. And I was like, you've been missing out. Right. Oh, but not anymore. But I love how when you go to the Great Pumpkin Patch and you have this huge variety of gourds and squash and everything out, you actually share recipes there yes. with how you can use yes. them and prepare them. Yes. So we have one weekend left. We have squash tasting available on Saturdays and Sundays where we go through these four icons and we break down, you know, you don't have to know this is called Seminole or Shmayhem Coom or Butterkin or Trombocino. You just need to know that it can be roasted. And you okay. can roast it uh, by going on our Facebook or our website, and you can see, you know, those tasty videos where yes. you're right over the top. Mm -hmm. We actually work with the squash and break it down so that you can explore and work with anything that you find in the big box store, or you can get more adventurous and get the different wow. varieties. So okay. we've made it really easy, and she's taken it the next level where well, you can get more adventurous. And I can't wait to taste test these next level tacos. You mm -hmm. still have a few days left to enjoy the Great Pumpkin Patch. They close Halloween, so um, definitely go out this weekend and get you some gourds for uh, upcoming Taco Tuesday. Yes, okay, there you go. We're taste testing our uh, tacos coming up in a little while, but still to come.